tough Paul. You're, uh, you went out quietly, a lot quieter than Derville and uh, David, but uh, it kind of brightens the curtain down on kind of a gold generation of Irish sprinting. What, uh, what do you think, looking back in your career, were your highlights? Well, I suppose looking back, um, for me, I instantly think of Beijing, the Olympics. You know, I was kind of at the height of my powers. I didn't realise it at the time, winning a quarter final against Spearman and some other good sprinters. And, you know, almost making the final, just being, being uh, one place off the final. You know, I suppose that was the, the pinnacle, really, you know. Uh, oh, I, had plenty, I had plenty of great, 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 uh, great other performances as well. That was probably the, the, the best one. Do you look at that one as kind of maybe the one that got away, like a place this, away from the... Well, yeah. Phelan, I've had plenty that got away, yeah. you know, I think, um, and that's one of them. And that's probably the big one. Like, if I had made Beijing, then, then you know, I'd almost look back on your career and say you've nearly done as much as I could have. But, you know, not making the final, missing the final in Beijing by place, missing the final in Berlin by by two places, missing the final in Osaka by two places, and not getting the European medal. You yeah, know, they're really, they were the nearies, you know, because I, I, Bar the lowest point in my career was Barcelona, where, where I, I, I didn't make a medal because, because really I was coming into that season, um, I had been, I had been top three in Europe for the previous few seasons, and and you know, set up nicely to win a medal, I never did. I think that's just as a bigger regret as any of them, you know. Yeah. Uh, that and not making it to the final, I suppose. Yeah, what kind of are your, were your driving motivators in, throughout your career like, to kind of keep yourself going and make hard decisions yeah. and even go off to Scotland as well? And uh, David yeah. Gillick would have said that some people would have thought you were mad, but like he mm -hmm. said, you went over there for coaching, not for the mm -hmm. facilities. Oh, yeah, well, well, I, I, I always um, just wanted to get the best on myself. That's all I ever wanted, you know. Uh, I just wanted to see how fast I could do it. Like I, I, I came to a point in 2006. I just run my first day standard, and I had already left college and gone back to medicine for for once. So if I was going to leave again, I was like, this has to be 100%, you know. And that involved, I just started with Stuart at the time, so it did involve going to Scotland for coaching and doing everything I could that I thought I could to be the best I could, and and you know. I gave it a lash anyway. Yeah. And what do you think, like, looking at the, the current generation, and there's plenty of talent. Mm. What is it that yourself, Derb, and Dave, in terms of decision making, making hard calls, yeah. what, what do you think that Irish sprinters need to do now to get from good to up to international? Well, it's, it's hard to know, you know. But, um, like, I know for me and, and the rest of them, like, oh, we could, you know. Like, we did make hard decisions. Like, I moved. As you said, possibly people thought I was crazy, but moved abroad. Gilly went to Loughborough. You know, Derv, Derv. Like we, we, we just scratched. We just like um, we did everything we could. You know, and that's what it takes. If 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 if, if a just hard decision has to, you just have to make it, and, and and it's the right thing to do. And if it doesn't work out, you'll never regret it. Like if it hadn't worked out for me, I would have been happy for the rest of my life because I gave it a go anyway. You know. Yeah. So like, but the, the setup is good now in Ireland, you know, there's, there's a nice, um, they get nice, there's nice backup, like, I think anyway, I'm not sure because I'm yeah. not in the system anymore, but, uh, but the thing is, you just, I just don't want the current crop to get soft, you know, Yeah. like, we had to build, I built my own structure around me, I built my own sport team, like, I was completely self-sufficient, you know, Athletics Ireland, to me, were just a means to getting a championship, you know, yeah. I didn't owe them anything and they didn't owe me anything, and I just found, that you're always, you'd always have given out about that, but in the way it made you, it made you a better athlete because it meant more to you. You earned it. Everything you did, you put the structures in yeah. place, so it meant more. And the book stopped at you. But yeah. for me, that suited my character. It might suit others, but it suited me. You know. Yeah, I think I like the fact that I had done everything, and if it works out, it's because of me. And if it doesn't, I gave it a go. Yeah, I think David said that as well. You know, things can improve with sports cars and AI, but at the end of the day. The, the athlete has to be responsible for themselves. Absolutely, yeah. Absolutely, and, and they're just there to make things easier for you, but if you cannot, you cannot, you still have to take responsibility. You've said it exactly, you have to take responsibility and you have to make the hard decisions and, you know, you know, it's not easy. It's, it, the, 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 no, I didn't make it to the top, but, but the so-called track to the top is not an easy road. Yeah. And if it was easy, everyone would be doing it, so. 
sometimes um, that's something you, you know that we need to keep within the sport. We need to, we need to say it's tough Irishman, you know. Yeah, and going back just back to the start as a young athlete mm -hmm. in Athen Rye, what kind of was there any point? How did you get into it? What when was there a point that you thought who was there? What did you see that you said, "Geez, I want to be." Yeah. yeah, well I suppose I was always fast and then I started community games and I was good and made it to Mosney and things like that. Um, so I suppose that got me into it and then I just loved it. It suited my personality, you know, and, uh, from the start. I, I, I played other team sports as well but un un unusually enough athletics was always number one for me even despite playing a few other sports. And then. I never really saw myself as an Olympic athlete until my junior year nearly um, and I managed to get to the World Juniors on the very last qualifying race. Possibly, I have had some really important races but that's probably one of the most important races in my life because I actually got to the World Juniors on the cutoff day nearly, made it to the World Juniors, a whole new world opened to me. I, um, I saw like what athletics could be. To me yeah. athletics was just a hobby that you used to go down to Nina you know, twice a year and used to go into town more. I realised then that athletics, you know, was something I could be good at and I could, you know, see how good I was at, at it and take on other athletes in the world, you know. So going to Jamaica and I went out there, I was ranked fiftieth and I came tenth or whatever, you know, so I performed well and because of that I got to the European Championships and suddenly I was running against an Olympic champion, Kinteris, in my heat as a as a nineteen year old. So it all happened very fast. But I think for me, getting to the World Juniors was really important and performing well there and seeing the world that, that I could be involved in and then making the Europeans and having people like Peter Coughlin, Paul McKee, who were so, you know, were, were kind of, for me, were the, were the Paul Hessians for me, you know, yeah. the people that brought, that I was looking at and going, well, I can make it. These guys, Paul McKee was, you know, yeah. was so unlucky not to make the final out there, possibly could have meddled even if it had gone a different way. You know, when I was looking at these guys, thinking, you know, I want to be part of this. You know, so I came back and yeah. then gradually improved. You know? Yeah.